Hello, we're live, Baldur's Gate. <clears throat> I loaded in and I realized someone's over encumbered. It was Aura. Toss items over to you. Sorry. You can carry a lot. What's your name, anyways? Drake. Okay. Couldn't remember your name. When we can. Fight when we must. So the plan is as it has been. Let's figure out what the. Mrs. Sandra, so good I found you. Andrew, you look troubled. My father must have sent you. Talk, good man. What is wrong? Indeed, Miss Sandra. There are events that have alerted your father much. And he sent me to find you quickly. You must come to meet him urgently. You and he also asked for the ones that are with you to feel invited. That sounds disturbing, Mock. If my father takes to such an action, then there must be real trouble. Something that even he is not able to deal with alone. Please, we must follow his call. The bell minister himself is disturbed, so should we. Let us listen to Landry. I was like to find you so prompt, as we only knew of your last position from yesterday, and your group moves quite a lot. I don't think we even left town, since we saw him. Why did you not use the shard to locate me? That is part of the current problem. The shard, it is better for you, to, for your father to tell you about all that. You will, of course, set off immediately to see him, Miss Sandra. Mock? You're supposed to leave everything and go to Waterdeep. That is a ten day away, Sandra. I have no idea how we'd get there in time. Oh no, sir, the master's here on the Sword Coast already, coming from the gate to meet with you at Galana's place. See, Locke, we only need to go to the Friendly Arm then. Buy some supplies and take a rest to a civilized place will do the company some good as well. Friendly Arm? Yes, sir, the master will be at Galana's place, the Temple of Wisdom. Locke, you know Galana, Bentley's wife at the Friendly Arm? Uh, she provides her healing services at the Temple of Wisdom in the inn and sells scrolls and potions as well. Oh, I remember her, so if there's nothing else to learn here, we should head off to the inn then. I was cut. You know, Locke, it seems a mite small for the size of the dunes here, boats. I don't think that's your voice. You know, Locke, you seem a quite. Sm you seem a mite small for the size of the dunes here, boats. One must start somewhere, the trouble that plagues the coast to become mine, and I shall pursue them as I may. I may as well stick to you then. The man is be bidding fair to him, me in as well. I'm trying to find the mayor. I don't know where the mayor would live. I mean, I would have presumed yeah, that this is the mayor's house. But apparently, it's not. That's the whole reason Drake joined me was to go see the mayor. Who may not exist, because I have to take into account, why am I not moving? Yeah, I take like a couple steps and then I just stop. Yes. What's wrong with me? Fatigue. Whoop, I don't want to export. Again. Can I turn down fatigue? I doubt it. I probably shouldn't anyways, even if I could. I'm having problems walking, apparently. You may not rest when your party is scattered. Well, bring us together then, and I'm gonna try to rest. <sighs> no sleeping in the streets. If you're tired, you must either find an inn or go outside the city boundaries. So saith the flaming fist. Really, it is your problem. I guess I'll go to the friendly arm in. I don't know why I stop moving. Do I stop moving if I'm the only one selected? I certainly do. Yes. 
I'm not over encumbered. I'm close. But I'm not. Am I gonna actually make it? Nope. <clears throat> I want to blame the fatigue, but Sandra's fatigue. I'm gonna try to sell stuff. I'm gonna try really hard to sell stuff. What can I do for? Oh, it's you. The, the way you treat all of your returning customers? <laughs> it's because I'm Omnian. I must say, Bentley, I thought one as worldly as you would see past such prejudices. Don't put words in my mouth, boy. Omnium, omnium or no. Makes no difference in my establishment. But you, by girl, there were three of you, I'd be out of business by week's end. And your behavior intimidates some of my other guests. Well then, perhaps you'll be pleased to hear that I won't be here to stay. At least not for a while. Tend the lock's needs and bring me a tanker to be best day while you're at it. <sighs> yes, yes, I know. None too many travelers been through lately. What with the supposed troubles down south. So what can I do for you? Hello, Uncle Bentley. Whoa. It's you, lass. Mind who you be calling uncle if you a mind. We ain't related after all, and it makes me feel old. Oh, I know. It, it's just... You're the only known Rami's parts that I've felt a kinship with. It makes me feel more familiar when I call you that, you know? Well, if you please, lass. Goes your search. Still nothing, I'm sorry to say. Well, if anything happens, never fear to come back to the friendly arm. Me and my wife will always have space for you. We still have fixing that wheel, after all. Thanks, Uncle Bentley. Anytime. Not too many travelers been through lately. I'm one of the supposed troubles down south. So what can I do for you? Well, I want to try to sell you stuff. Uh... second I gotta check if this is for a quest because I don't remember if it's for a quest well Will died a horrific death uh, there's petrified priestess I still gotta do that tensions with Om rogue ogre himself just south of the friendly arm in. okay good to know Landrin's possessions. Landrin knows who they are in. I should go to Landrin's house at some point. I do need to find Bro Brog. Dorn, I could have. I could have with me. Turn the dagger to Kylie. Miner in the lower levels of Nashville mines. Do I have that dagger still? That's a question. Because I have a feeling I don't. Unless it was hard of the golem. So uh, that quest might not get done. Mishnah Skell wants Winter Wolf Pelts. Dirk wants Cloak. Hand Quest. Entire Sun. That's something I gotta look into, because I got him with me. I know where Prism is. The Tale of Captain Brog is on two pages for some reason. Right, Vanny Hung Bandit. That I could do. Uh, it's all in all a few things I can do. 
I'm gonna sell just whatever. I don't remember what this fam family amulet's all about, but it's money. I shall just take the gems out of the bag and sell them. I will keep the gem bag, though. Like, I could sell it for a good bit of money, but... <clears throat> Heart of the Golem. I feel like that must be the quest maker. Mind you, that sells for a lot. But it's also probably useful if I get anyone that I want to use daggers with. Uh, we'll just buy a little bit of ale. Just get a rumor. Vision has been good between the two powers and rage and blah blah blah. I think I've heard that before. Uh, we'll take a royal room. I feel like this isn't loud enough to hear. I'll read it again when he stops. A dagger shaped hole. You did not know that would be. Okay. I don't think I can scroll back up through that is problem of me wanting to uh, read that again. I could just adjust the volume a little though. For next time, I mean. Um, this one, you're going to have to go back and read. Or not care about, because uh, the quickest run through of what happened is basically we're back oh oh i can scroll back up okay you're startled out of sleep with a chill the night is warm and calm it is though someone has walked across your grave and for a moment you wonder if it was you with this thought the ground beneath you opens and you are swept into the dark when light returns you do not find its presence comforting before you lay the empty minds of nashkel cleansed by your previous passage you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper until a bloated figure comes into view. Malay, in no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. Held from whatever laughter, from whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. At this creature breath, you are short, be hurling curses. It waits for the kill. A death beyond death, and knows no hope. You turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead, and you need not inflict any more upon him. 
surprised and thankful. The, vis the visage of Mule hobbles forward and through you. Off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills the space within you. A dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. There's a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air. Your heart is target. You awake, just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. A disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. I didn't do the voice spell, but, you know. Uh, can I raise the voice volume? I certainly cannot. I can raise movie volume a little, though. That might help. All right, do I walk the whole way? No. Nope. Oh, but you kind of stopped me, so that's something. My, you are bathed in cold sweat. Another one of those bad dreams. Blood, murder, destruction. Why do I have these dreams? This goes far beyond the bloodshed we see each day. Because of the fighting that is forced upon us, this comes from far deeper. Why? Something, I mean someone, tries to talk to you? Tries to give you a message? Ah, uh, yes. In the first dream, it appeared to be Grime, but it was not him. It could not have been. Not from the message he delivered. This time, this crazy mule. But again, it was just a disguise. This cretin could never have said the words I've heard. If yeah, someone does not show his face here or East Grime in the first dream mule now, but I don't believe that the words though, that these are are not their own. Something tries to get me on the path of murder and blood. It tries to tell me that is the only way. You're wise to avoid this way. Those are lies. Blood of murder is not your way. Although we cannot avoid some fighting bloodshed when it's forced upon us. But you're not doing this to gain personal power from it. Whatever this message, I see nothing wrong with the way we follow. It gives me strength, not this blood and murder thing. Let us go. Oh, thank you, let us go on. Yeah, I'm still, I walk and then I stop. Now, I wonder if I turn the party AI off, would that do anything? That seems to fix it, which is not good for me. Because I kind of want party AI on. Alright, I turned it back on. Maybe toggling it will fix the issue. It seems to have. Well, well, Sandra, my heart. I see thou found. I see thou found thine way to thine troubled father. Oh, father! Embrace the old man. You look troubled, indeed. You look indeed troubled. It is not because of me and my following lot. Something bad must have happened. Please tell me. Indeed, indeed, Sandra. Locke, trouble has come to favor him from the depths below, the demonic realms that are always lurking to send their troubles up to us. Lock, thine little company has proven thyself rather competent in handling their troubles on Sword Coast recently. And then my darling Sandra is with thee. And the problem at hand now is, in a way, also some kind of family business. Speak, Father. If there is trouble, we will do as best we can, even if we have our own mission to follow. Right, Lock? Uh, what do you mean with the realms? We are supposed to do anything we can. No, it's a lane from you listen, this seems to be family business. I'm not gonna refuse them and I'm not gonna like beg for a reward. Fine, fine. So let me brief y'all on this matter. Maybe my daughter has already the chance to tell you uh, to tell thou about Mistress Shard and how I use it for the sake of the realms. Looks to Sandra and sometimes little girls and sometimes little girls use what they shouldn't. Only for the sake of good and truth, father. The shard is gone. What? Indeed. I never had guessed this could occur. The shard does not work for anyone that is not of my blood, so it is useless to take it up unless in want to harm me and the realms. Father, you did not accuse me of that. <laughs> Sandra, calm down, little one. Nothing can be farther from my from me accusing than 
Nothing can be farther from me than accusing me. I let thee do your own little things with it from time to time, so thou wilt learn and grow. My trust in thee is enough to know thou wilt not overstep thine limits. No. This deed was done by one that cannot use the shard, but wants to do harm to us. There is some evidence that a group of Durgar and demon knights have been to Waterdeep lately. But those creatures can only be the minions of someone much more evil and plain. My friend Firebeard has given me notice that a dead Durga was found near Bear Ghost. The creature carried a strange scroll that he wants me to examine. For the scroll's demonic attributes, he does not dare to deliver me the thing himself. Are you telling me to... <clears throat> I will complain once you're done talking. I pence that Sandra's powers from Mistra are great enough to deal with such an item. So I ask thee to retrieve this scroll from Firebeard, so we m can examine it. Where do we find Firebeard, and where shall we shall we bring the scroll afterwards? Firebeard stays at a friend's house opposite to, to the Feldepost. Once you have the artifact, bring it to Thalantir's High Hedge. I will do mine own research, meanwhile I rejoin with you at the Hedge once Thalantir sends me notice of your arrival. Sandra, friends, let's not waste time then. Off to Baragos. See you soon, Elminster. You're telling me to go... Okay, I'll let you talk too. A question for you, little lady of miracles. Do you believe in the theory of life beyond our world? Not the planes, I mean literal world. Life in the stars, you mean? I didn't think you'd know about such theories, Drake. You must have studied. Not studied, per se. Rather, I came across the topic while doing some light reading in the holy libraries of home. A study of celestial visions and ventures. I believe it was called, or something like that. Written by some astrologist a little less than a hundred years ago. Are you familiar with the text? Oh, yes. <clears throat> it was someone from my homeland that wrote it. That was before I was born, though. The facts we found have changed our perspective greatly since then. So do you believe it? The parts about beings in the stars, living in worlds parallel to ours. I must admit, I was a little too, it was a little too fantastical for me to believe. Especially for such a scholarly work. Hmm. I'd say it's definitely possible, but we've no way to be certain for sure. To be certain so far. The only way to know for sure would be to find those worlds and see for ourselves, you know? <sighs> but that'll be long past our lifetimes, I'm sure. Perhaps. Though with a mind like yours. <laughs> no. I'm not that good. Not yet, anyway. Besides, I've got a thousand other things I want to do with my life first. And those won't take a lifetime to accomplish. What do you want? What do you want? Not you, Imowen. You look over at Imowen and knows that she picked up the Assassin Tarnesh's spellbook and is reading it. Making any progress with that, Imowen? Hmm? Oh, what little, I think. This stuff is kind of complicated. Hey, I think I've got this one down pat. Yep, easy as pie. Hold on, lock. This'll be fun. Wait for her to finish the spell. Watch this! Hexo presto, um, shabadu. Oops. Chaos, Imowen. I ain't gonna assume that's a bad thing. Party is game Moen's artifact. Created this by reading her Nurse's spell book. I'm just gonna have Sandra identify that. Um what was I even saying? Right. I was literally just down the road from Firebeard. You could have told your guy, like, while you're there, could you please just pick this up? Have I stopped walking again? I guess I'm turning off party AI. That's frustrating. I need that active. Who's that? 
Blar. You sent someone I sent here? Unless you're willing to buy some mail. Buy a gal's mail. You're not welcome here. I'm willing. But you won't let me, so never mind. I'm very really friendly. I would actually just hand you the gold and leave you to it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why is there just a guard out here? There's be no fighting and stealing within the sight of the walls of the army. Rest will be punished to the full extent of frontier law. Alright. I'll just leave then. I think the bandit thing is on Coastway, but... Oh! Oh! Um. Uh, I've been attacked. I don't fully know what's going on, but I have perished. I hope the game saved recently. Okay, it did. Yes. Sounds good to me. I didn't want to talk, Sandra. I really didn't. What a wonderful creature, a beautiful young stallion. It must be a great pleasure to ride this one. Uh, do you want me to get it for you, my ladies? We've been coming up with some press horse. Nah, I have to admit, my experience with these creatures is almost non existent. You had no horses over there. The candle heat. Well, sometimes old Winthrop allowed me and Emmeline to sit on old Gioia's Gyo broad back. She was his enormous coach horse that he used to get new wares and beer barrels once in a while from Baragoster Baldur's Gate. A strong creature, but it took her nearly one hour to walk ar once around the library. Still, with Emmeline, everything was big fun. You know the story of the young princess who tried to weaken the bloody tyrant's heart to have mercy for the starving poor. She rode up to his castle on a snow white stallion wearing nothing but her long hair to protect her. Okay. I don't know that that's smart to do, but sure. Uh, see, I don't want to flirt. But I'm also not dismissive. So the game just kind of... Hmm. I guess I'll do the survival though. You didn't make you ride up my castle this way. It's beautiful, but it would not cover much on such an occasion. You asked me for everything, and I would give it to you there. See, I don't like that choice. But I don't like being dismissive. Whatever. There you go. Sure. I'm glad that didn't continue. I'm gonna try that again. Pause. Run away. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it was somewhere in here. Wasn't it? Well, it doesn't tell me. I'll take a peek around. Run. No, seriously, run. You will die. I don't even know why I'm under attack abruptly. All right, Wolfie, can I select you? Nope. <sighs> Nora died. This will not go well. Like, 
like, at all. I don't know why there's abrupt hobgoblins. And I had temporarily lost control of myself, which was not good for me. Okay, I'm just reloading. Hello? The game didn't want to respond for a second there. Luckily, I didn't have to have the uh, awkward conversation. Excuse me? I was going to say, if they just started popping up, Anywhere and everywhere. Also, can I talk to you? Don't you be getting any closer, or I'll have Mum come and give you the belt. Relax, kid. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, sure, that's what that other group of bandits said. And then they went and attacked the caravan, and I just saw leave. They're a bunch of liars, probably just like you. Get lost. Okay. Hey, you. Where do you think you're trying to hide this time? Uh, who are you talking to? Her? Stop. Get out of the electrum jar. Hey, come out of my bag. This is... Uh, hey, Muffy, behave. S stop. <laughs> that tickle. Stop crawling all over me. Is that a squirrel? A metal squirrel? Yep, a squirrel. A very, very bad squirrel. Stop. Huh, gotcha. Now stop moving and let me open you up. You got one of my tools in your tummy. There you go. Good, Muffy. Sorry about that, Locke. He always runs a boat when I need to take something out of him. The squirrel's your pet, I take? <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Let me take a drink. <sighs> Muffy's been my friend for years now. I made his body myself out of clockwork and bronze and other metals. He's cute, isn't he? Say you made his body? Then he's not really alive, is it? No. How did you make him so lifelike, Aura? I've never seen a contract act like this. Um, that's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell you how that works. Sorry. Look at how happy he is to see you, Locke. He likes meeting new people. I don't suppose you have anything to feed him. Um, beep? It eats? Muffy likes having his belly filled. He loves gems especially. Put something small in him and you can be sure it'll be safe. Getting it out later might be a hassle, though. Oh no, he's trying to run away again. Stop, get back here. Well, that's adorable enough. Anyway, time to rob this uh, caravan. So, <clears throat> I don't know specifically what to do about those hobgoblins. Or why they were after me, for that matter. That Svart did not, uh, did not really think that through, I don't think. I don't know how intelligent they are. They built a village, so I assume partially. Boy, you're in the wrong thing, in the wrong place, at the wrong time. Oi, that's mine. Hands off your cell sword. I have to kill you now. Nothing personal, you understand. Alright. I'm gonna... No, not that. No, I don't need to move. I just want to blood drain this guy. <clears throat> Why are none of you helping? That's better. 
Also, Aura, if you can help that area out, that would help me a lot more. <clears throat> I would consider this a win. I consider it a lose. I can't use the party AI, though. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's a long-standing... What did I just say? <sighs> I'm gonna have to reload because I just accidentally kicked him from the party. Because it just loaded in the conversation when I was trying to do something. But sure. Yes. It's an old game. Maybe not so mean, but that doesn't mean nothing. Not a man since he mean until they attacked old man, bro. Stupid man is a stupid iron. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is just the whole talk with the squirrel. Uh, a white flag, uh, this, blah, blah, blah. All right. Now we go fight the bandits. And I don't start clicking on anything. On a bright side, this is a quest that will actually be completed. That's a nice change of pace. Mind you, if I die, we'll be doing this all over again. The drain on you, Sandra. I might need healing abruptly. Death is not the end. So, speaking of me dying, I'm not having much luck. And I don't know... Oh, yeah, I'm under attack, that's fine. I'll just let them deal with it, I don't care. It's just a couple of dogs. I don't know why my luck made this drastic... Yeah, squirrel, muffy, yep, yep. I don't know why my luck made this just drastic change, but sure. Not that I've been having the best luck playing this. Think carefully. I'm just gonna ignore you. I don't even care at this point. After I slay this Vart, I'm just gonna save before something stupid happens. Because knowing me, something stupid will happen. Not knowing the game. The game's fine. It's just my luck today. And if the Zvart kills me, then we're ending the stream. <laughs> and I'm going to say, no more Baldur's Gate if that happens. Okay, good. Because <laughs> at that point, I'm just like, nope. But I cannot save during combat. We're not in combat. But we're fine. We are fine. Why do I have more health this time around? Alright. You just start doing your thing. Every. Why is this a conversation? I 
I don't really want you guys to try to converse. I will be honest. Send the wolf in. Why is there just a whole gang of Svarts coming in out of nowhere? Ah, as much as I'd like to see here, I doubt he'd be eager to judge my art this way. Mind to eat something? Simple enough. Let this stuff happen. Okay, click nothing. Hands away from the mouse. I'm scared to click anything. The bandits are dead. Uh, talk about companions, problems, and help. They're coming in a kind manner and hopes to make them combine you. You better watch it, kid, or I'll, it'll be more than a braid you'll be missing. The old weapons of gold you won't likely forget. Okay, so here we go. Well, look what I found. This is the body of the Silver Shield son. Guess I'm in a lot of trouble now with him dead. It'll be a one. I'll be a one at dwarf. When I've gathered so far, all of you are after them, damn it, bandits. Well, since my reputation is now mud, how about I help you gain revenge on those scumbags? Sure, we use your skills. That's better. I'm listening. You should hope we can find a potion on these guys. There's no potion on these guys. What's that? It's beautiful now with fifty love with Sigil and Dukes of Baldur's Gate and Tarsilla Shields and just also embroidered in the rest of the dead youth's coat and she came upon this to me. Perhaps you should return this bin to Silver Shields. <sighs> Yeah, you're probably right. I was gonna sell it. Another item? Keep it. It's quite nice. Another item? Keep it. It's quite nice. Alright. Imowin, let's just get you what arrows exist here. Okay, and we'll just stuff you full of everything that we can. Alright, who's overweight? That's what we're going to start with. Demo in equip heroes. Equip heroes. You're overweight. We'll give it to Sandra. I can't give it to Sandra. Uh, Sandra will toss this gem over to Aura. Actually, you can equip that. I wonder if it's better for you. All right, inquisitive time. Which is better for you? Green is usually good, so I'll just assume green is good, even though I don't think it is in this case. I don't remember how armor class works anymore. It's been too long since I had to think about armor class. What is the plan? Yes. I'm pretty sure Baldur's Gate works in a different way than certain... Or, well, it doesn't work in a different way, it's just it's of a specific time, so certain knowledge would be useless to me anyways. Yep. Yep. Ugh, it's not worth thinking about too hard, though. here oh 
How overweight are you? You're not at all. Now you are. Well, that's some stuff to sell. Which we might have to do because we're going to need to get some healing. I should really be carrying potions. Like, that's my fault. I'm not carrying potions. Okay. We're going to go in this direction. What you want? And we're going to try you. I'm going to send the wolf up there. And if I have a spell that's useful to this, I don't think I do. Shapeshift. Cure light. I know cure light wounds? When did that happen? Try some drain blood. That was shocking to me that I won that. We're gonna have to carry this. Sanjo's gotta collect that stuff. Also, you should come collect. I don't even have to move you. Watch out, Locke. This girdle is cursed. Do not consider putting it on unless you want to change to the opposite gen gender. I'd rather you remain what you are. I really like you as you are. You have quite a bit of knowledge about all kind of things that are not obvious to the eye. How is that? Besides my education in the arts of Mistra, I have this very special copy of Elminster's History of Faerun that you may you have seen me studying whenever time allows. So if I do not know what a thing is right away, chances are good that I may identify it with the help of this tome. Make you abuse your talents as I can. Do you one has to expect a new surprise they return? You smile at her. I'll make use of your many talents as good as I can. Okay, so we got a gender changing girdle. Interesting. Mm. Girl of Elvesbane. That's something I'm gonna keep. Will I use it? Probably not, but it's interesting enough to keep it. Ooh, can I put it in the squirrel? No, I can only put gems in the squirrel. That's fair enough. Can I put it in the potion bag? I didn't figure I could. Uh... Yep, too bad for me. Alright, we should try to heal you while we're here. Lay on hands on to you, Mr. Drake. What is it? Do you know spells, Mr. Drake? Exaltation, divine favor. You're going to give me something to do already. Ooh, cure light wounds. Also, I can level up Immolin, which I should do. Uh, what do I care about? Detect illusion wouldn't be bad to have on you. What is the plan? Just in case. I could just explore this area, see if there's anything else around here. Probably gonna have to go to the temp one of the temples to get healing. Which I mean I've gotten some good gold. Uh, but that's okay. So talking Baldur Gate stuff. Uh I was shocked. The other day, I was looking at stats, just of my 
Well, not stats. I was looking at what, like, number of watchers, number of viewers, whatever. Number of views. There we go. That's took a little bit from my brain to click, but when it did, that's the word. Number of views. Uh, the last stream in Baldur's Gate I did had 57 views. That is crazy to me. That's the most people I think have viewed any of my stuff. So that was shocking. Made me feel pretty good, honestly. Some, I don't know if they were long views of any kind. It might have just been people like, huh, what's this? Oh, never mind. But, you know, it feels good. It does. Like, actually, it does. I'm not going to think too hard on to the possibility that it was pro probably that. I think more of, you know, that means some people were interested. And that's good. I want to interest some people. I'm not going to be for everyone, and especially when, again, I know I do really short streams. And a lot of people want longer streams. And I understand that. I would love to do longer streams. I've, said, I've had this whole conversation before, and so I'm not going to repeat it. You know, even one or two get some interest. And I'm happy. Just, I don't know. Makes me happy that someone might enjoy it. I mean, obviously people enjoy it. I always have someone lurking around. Like, most of the time, anyways. And... I don't think anything has gone with zero views. Unless we're talking over on YouTube, then I think some of them have, but I'm pretty sure Twitch, the VODs have all had at least one view. I'm, I can't really go back and I'm going to just sit in blissful unawareness if that's untrue, but I think everything has had a view. And I like that. Means people have my interest. I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but it, it, it does make me happy when that's true. I think I've gone into a stranger's house. Yeah, neither you are the person I'm looking for. Sorry about that. You're lucky I'm not evil. I could steal everything. Ah, you're old Grian's ward. The lonely kid of Candlekeep. Of course I heard about the loss of Grian. I must give you my deepest condolences. I hope since you've left Candlekeep, you've kept up on your reading. Oh, the world of books. I have heard that a new copy of the wondrous tome, The History of Faithful Coin, can be had for a pretty penny in one of the stores around here. If you would be so kind as to buy it for an old man like myself, I'd gladly reimburse you. I even give you a little bonus to help in your travels. It must be so hard with Grian gone. Hey, a mystery. Remember me? I'm the second kid of Candle Keep. We're going to get you a book. No problem. Imowin, glad to see you, lass. Forgive me for not recognizing you immediately, but you've changed. Sure thin, sir. No more aprons and bonnets for Imowen the Magnificent. Well, unless someone offers me a dragon's treasure hoard to wear one. We're going to get your book. No problem, mister. It's good to see a familiar face, eh, Locke? Yep. Agreed. Well, we have business with you, but I'm going to go try to buy your book first, because I would like to help you. Uh, maybe the Burning Wizard? I do need to go to the Smithy at some point. That's true. That is true. Garrick. You're someone I want to talk to, but I just don't have the time. No, this is that in. No, no, I'm not getting pickpocketed. I'll talk to you, Garrick. Hello there. Hey, Adventures! I have a proposal for you. I've heard you're an excellent group of warriors. How would you like a well paying job as bodyguards for my mistress? 
Rose and look up for money, tell us more. I'm Garrick, and I work for Silke Rosena. She's the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, she used to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's done. However, she's been having some problems of late. Some thugs have been hired for Feldepost to hurt her bad because she didn't perform as in when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up. What with a villain like Feldepost running the place? She needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay 300 gold. What do you say? That sounds fair. Why don't you show us this mistress of yours? I think you've made a good decision. Now meet me outside of the Red Sheaf Inn. Are we going there now? I think we're going there now. This is my mistress, Miss Silky Arizona. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Hespian is extraordinaire. Sure. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. Hespian extraordinaire. So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you can find. I guess I'll have to do. It must be worth about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrick offered you, isn't it? Garrick's not little. Good thing you're, not, you're an actress, not a painter. Would have been a problem being blind, huh? Because if you don't see for yourself, I tell you, is you sure are blind. I offered them 300 gold, just like you told me. Well then, I assume that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. One of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the most wise of men. Uh-huh. Here they are now. Feldepost thugs. Strike when I tell you to. Reading Silky. We're here as he asked. And we have the... Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... Shut up. There'll be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. Oh, stop embarrassing yourself. I reckon I met three common prostitutes that could put a better act. How dare you, you filthy swine. Our deal is off. In any case, you're probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, look, 400 gold. Gee, I wonder where that could have come from. We thank you for stopping the evil witch before she killed us. Here, take this as a token of our appreciation. Push and defense, sure. Silky's dead. I guess she had it coming. You can't be evil like her and expect to get away with it. I'm out of a job now. It would be too much to ask her to join up with you. Of course! I mean, Locke, he can join us, right? <laughs> he's cute and he's a real bard. Someone's got to write ballads about my beauty and bravery, you know? You, you, you really think that I am cute? No problem. Remove you from the party, though. I just need you to go wait at the inn for me. Ah, uh, well, I suppose it will give me the opportunity to work on this new ballad I've been thinking of. Bet you'll never guess who the protagonists are. I just want you to go to the friendly arm inn. Thank you. Uh, so that's an inn. So... Everywhere is an inn. Where does one shop for books? You're at the end of the rope, I'll wager. Not that it's anything personal, you understand. I'm afraid your time here on this ball... I'm... Ah, but I'm afraid your time on this here ball of mud is just about done. Uh, why are you doing this? I've done nothing to you. You've done nothing to anyone, far as I know. Don't matter one whit to me. Price is a price, and the head is a head. And whenever the two meet, there's old Carlot making his living. Like I said, it's nothing personal. Feels pretty personal to me, but... Also, you're not alive anymore, so... It's a bounty notice. Got something to say. Can you equip that armor? Yes. 
But that is actually we're gonna end. Well, we'll talk to Finch before we end things. Look, this devilish turn of events, teched by an assassin in the public house. Hail Finch, just good to see you again outside the walls of Candle Keep. Things have proven more peaceful for my shoes than yours, I can see. If you recall my duties for the Temple of Denier, it's encouraged me to establish a new library in Ashko. While the focus on the mines there, the people are woefully illiterate. And it is my duty to provide them with the tools to gain knowledge. I have a list of future works to collect, and my latest book in hand. I am free as a bird to continue my journey, searching for the others. You, you have recently come from the road. Perhaps you use my skills if more assassins give you trouble? It's a dangerous time to travel the Sword Coast alone, and I confess I have not enjoyed my solitude this trip as much as in the past. Sure. I'm going to immediately remove you from the party, and if you leave forever, that's not really my problem. Alright, you can stay in this inn. But that is, in fact, where we're going to leave things. We did a little bit today. I mean,. We died, like, two or three times in ways that we shouldn't have died. Like, at all. But, you know, we had some victories. We completed a... We completed two quests, technically, because that whole bodyguard nonsense was a quest. But we uh, dealt with the bandits. We did that. We started a quest for Sandra, Sandra, which I don't know if I care about or not yet. Like, I do care about it, but I don't know if I care about it at this exact moment because it's dealing with, like, possible demon stuff. It's like, am I really the level for that? My answer is probably not. And I should probably not do it right now. But whatever. Uh, but, you know, we've got some interested party members. We don't really have a place to keep them besides the inn, which... You did, in fact, come in when I'm leaving. I, I'm i sorry about that risk advice. I'm, I'm winding down right now. I'm sorry for your... I'm sorry for the timing. I, I'm a very short streamer just due to situations, unfortunately. Uh, but, yes, we, we did some quests. We met some party members once we get later in the mod we'll have a stronghold we'll be able to keep them in the stronghold which like i mean use the inn for now and that's not such a bad thing but it's also like not such a rush to do that um so it's just like yeah if they want to stay stand around somewhere what do i care and when time's right i can just gather them up and take them to wherever in the world i'm setting up as a base um but yeah for now that is the end of this stream we'll be back tomorrow we're probably gonna be streaming buggos if i had to guess i say i had guess because i could change my mind but i'm pr pretty sure i feel like buggos and then monday we will be streaming probably core keeper honestly maybe ruin arc but i'm 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 saying probably core keeper because we made some progress last time. Slew the Devourer. Know where the Hive Mother... Is it Hive Mother? Whatever. That's for then. This is now. This is... We're ending it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.